<laughs> Hello and welcome. I'm Marie. I'm an instructor for firefighting and SCBA operations at the Mayday Academy Maritime Safety School of Sassnitz in Germany. In today's video, I want to give you an overview of the self-contained breathing apparatus, short SCBA, that we use on board for firefighting and enclosed spaces rescue. An SCBA is a respiratory protection device that stores the breathing air inside a pressure cylinder or two pressure cylinders, which means that the device is independent of location and ambient air. Yeah, you can carry it around wherever you want and notwithstanding the atmosphere around you, you will have your air to breathe. However, the downside is that operational time of this device is restricted due to the limited air supply. So, how does this work? The air flows from the cylinder through the valve at the bottom of the device to the so-called pressure reducer or pressure regulator. This regulator reduces the pressure to 6 to 10 bars and sends it via the medium pressure hose to the lung demand valve, which is connected to your breathing mask. When you inhale, you will get exactly the amount of air that you need for your breath. Beside the medium pressure system, there is also a pressure gauge, which shows the real-time cylinder pressure. So you always know how much pressure you have. This is the basic functioning and now let's dive into the details. Compressed air breathing apparatuses, SCBAs, with full face masks are divided into two types, where type 1 is devices for industrial use and type 2 are devices for firefighting and rescue operations. The ones we have on board are of type 2 because we use them for emergency response. According to SOLAS, these uh, emergency SCBA sets must contain at least 1200 liters of air once the air is decompressed to normal ambient pressure. They must be certified for fire service use, so they must be of type 2. And according to German and European health and safety regulation, the maximum allowed weight for these devices is 18 kilograms each. SCBAs come in different configurations, either with one cylinder or with two cylinders. The one cylinder devices usually have a capacity of six liters, while the two cylinder devices usually have a capacity of four liters per cylinder. This is what it looks like. So what we have first is the carrier plate, which carries all the components of the systems and allows you to move around with the SCBA set. Attached to the carrier plate, you have the compressed air cylinder containing 200 or 300 bars of compressed air. The air from the cylinder is reduced by the regulator to be delivered to the lung demand valve, short LDV, which gives you the air into your mask when you breathe in. And then we have a pressure gauge. It's the so-called high pressure system where you have exactly the same pressure as inside the cylinders, so you can monitor your pressure in real time. Yeah. In this device, we distinguish three pressure areas, which is the high pressure system, comprising of the cylinder, the high pressure hose, the pressure gauge, and the low pressure warning device. Then we have the medium pressure system containing the medium pressure hose and the lung demand valve. And then finally there is a low pressure system which is basically the space inside your mask. 
So that's it for the overview over the uh, self-contained breathing apparatus. I hope that you found this video useful to improve your maritime safety skills. And if so, I would kindly ask you to leave a like and subscribe to our channel to stay tuned for more maritime safety videos. Also, if you like to do a course to get your certificate of proficiency, we offer basic safety courses in the northeast of Germany on the Baltic island of Rügen on a monthly basis. So in case you're interested, just have a look at the description below where you find the link to our course program. So thank you very much for watching and see you next time.